doing? Um, trying to kill myself. Why? Why not? I mean, first the aliens invaded with the zombies infected with bird flu. Let's go to the clip. And then just this morning, just this morning, my survival knife broke. And I, you know, without that, I'm done. Done. I'm out of here. So uh, I heard that drowning is the most pleasant way to go, so I'm, I'm trying to drown myself here. I, my body keeps pulling me out though, so I was thinking, what if, I'm gonna try again, but if you could cut my head off with the pizza cutter, just if I seem like I'm not committing to it, that'd be, that'd be awesome. If you've watched videos on YouTube at all about prepping and survival, which I'm sure you have because you're watching one right now, I'm sure you've noticed that there's a definite gear focus to a lot of them. And I'm sure there's a number of reasons for that. You know, we're in the Western civilization mo model here, and we're consumerist, and we like to solve our problems by buying things. Also, YouTube kind of pushes that because they seem to, at least in my experience, financially reward gear videos more than you know, videos about ideas and things like that. Maybe it's just the algorithm, it's easier to marry an advertisement to a video about, a, about gear or whatever. But whatever the reason, there's a definite fixation in the YouTube prepping community about gear. Uh, and I've done videos in the past where I talk about how people are too gear focused, people should focus on skills. And I, th I, I believe that. And don't get me wrong, I love gear, I've got lots of gear, I've done gear videos. When I find a tool that I like, I, you know, I share that with people. Uh, but I, this video isn't about like, you know, people should ignore gear, just be all about skills or, or anything like that. Because I think ultimately skills are kind of gear dependent too, in, in a particular way, and I'll explain that. When you learn a skill, you are enacting that skill through your, your hands, your body, your legs. And your body is basically your fundamental gear package. Just like gear, it can break, it can be damaged, it can be in need of repair. Ultimately, someday, your body, just like all your gear, will fail you. Where does that leave us? Because the game here is that we want to achieve something. And I don't think it's just longevity of life. Uh, I think a lot of prepping seems to be about, like, you know, the staving off of death as long as possible. But that's not really the game people are in. If there was a magic wand or a science wand that could be waved, and someone could say, well, I could, I could guarantee you'll live for 300 years, but you'll be bedridden, you can't really move around much, I can't imagine many people jumping at that opportunity. It's about happiness. It's about feeling fulfilled in your life uh, and being able to you know, live your life the way that you want to, you know, in, a, in a fulfilling way. Not to you know, rip against people that are bedridden. You know, that sucks. <laughs> but... Uh, you know, I don't think a lot of people would choose that. What people want isn't just to live as long as possible, it's to be happy in their life. And if you are setting up your survival strategy based on gear and stuff and even your body and your skill set, it's going to fail you at some point. And where does that leave you if, if the point of this is to be successful and to be happy and all of that? Uh, so what is it? What kind of video am I making here? It's not about gear. It's not about skills. What the hell are we talking about? Well, uh, what I want to talk about is being content with less stuff, with less comforts, with less of the stuff that you're used to. I think that ultimately, if there was ever any kind of a long-term collapse or something like that, people are going to have to get used to a different, I don't want to say standard of living, but a different style of living. So much of, of prepping is, I feel, people trying to crystallize the life that they have now and carry that ad infinitum to throw some Latin into this video, out into the future. And, and that's ultimately going to fail at some point for people, you know, one way or the other. And, and I think it's important to think about that now, about what your actual goals are and, and what you're trying, trying to achieve. You know, there's the old uh, kind of, uh, it's kind of a quasi-religious sort of idea, you know, if there's a light bulb emanating light, are you the light bulb? Or are you the light that comes out of it? Because the light bulb can break, but the light is infinite. The light, once it's released, is out. It goes off forever. And I think the same can be said of, of your gear, of your body, 
if you associate yourself too much with either of those, they're going to let you down at some point. And if your, your happiness is dependent on that, and the happiness of your family is dependent upon that, then, you know, you can see where that's going to go. The happiest person in any room is always going to be the person that is the most content with what they have at that moment. And an even happier person than that is the person that is happy with what they have at that moment but would be happy with even less. The person that can be happy whether they lose the, the shirt off their back, their house, their car, the, all their finances, their ammunition stash. The person that can be content and satisfied even with those losses, that's the person that's successful. Yeah, I, I heard a quote the other day, the true affluence is being happy with what, whatever you have or, or, want, or not wanting for anything. And I think that's, that's worth thinking about, that kind of idea of success and happiness not being based on what you can achieve, but being based on being content with where things are, with what you can have at that moment. Because going out into a collapse of any sort, there's going to be loss and that sort of style of living is going to have to change. How much would you be content with losing and still feel like you can have a happy, fulfilling, successful existence? Because it's not really about survival, it's about living. And I think it's worth thinking about. And I should cut it off there because there's a storm coming in. And the rain on this roof is going to make me completely uh, unable to be understood. <laughs> It'll just deafen me. And I'll be here in a couple minutes. But that's my basic point anyway. I think I've conveyed it. It's getting dark in here too. Can you be happy with less light? <laughs> that's it. Think about it. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.